All right, ladies and boys and girls and gentlemen and everything else, we're going to Honeycomb. It's another modded map. Um, and I think it's going to be pretty interesting. Haven't done a Honeycomb map. Yeah, haven't done an upload yet of Honeycomb. I think matches here have a lot of potential because, much like Aorta, it's kind of weird. There's a good balance of opened and closed terrain. It's a little more standard um, than Aorta. I think a little, little more digestible by newer players. Um, yeah, here it is. We have the ANS team over here in blue. We have the OSP team in uh, red. We are going to get into it very shortly. Normally I open these up early because I have something to say, some like news or information about something, anything, or comment. Not this time. We're just here to deployments ANS teams pretty spread out so is the OSP team both are more concentrated on top than anywhere else the OSP team is really concentrated on top we'll see oh there's a nice little formation up here see how that works out for them Railgun of Cello. Okay, with looks to be a laser dazzler on it as well. And quite a bit of point defense. Understandable. Alright, we got. Oh my goodness. So that's a bunch of rockets. And that's probably a bunch of rockets. No? What is this? This is a fleet of tugs? With 450s on it. Yeah, 450 millimeter cannons on the... No, no, C-53s are the uh, 250s. It's hard to tell them apart when they're in the single mode. So, 250 cannons on the... Oh, my God. If that catches a voxel, it's done. Another, another big fleet of little ships. Okay, we got Grosspringer back again. He's got a little bit of a different build. Uh, T-30s, plasmas, a lot of plasmas. Okay, this has potential. This could go a lot better than the last time. I wish him the best of luck. Uh, and then we already saw the Inns fleet. We saw part of it. Mass drivers on there, so rails and mass drivers. That's a potent combination. How do you have the points for this? What did you do? Whose soul did you sell to somehow get the points for this? I don't know. Jack has one voxel with a bunch of rocket launchers on... Uh-oh. A lot of these are ones. Which means he's using... These aren't just AMMs. They can't be. Well, I mean, I guess they could be. But that would be insane. Don't do not do that. They, they, they could be. Yeah, probably got some very expensive threes and twos on here. Uh, this has potential to be very dangerous. We've got a fighting voxel team. Mark 64s. And a Type 2 missile launcher. Alright. We've got a battleship, a Solomon, rolling in hot. Broadside up, ready to murder someone. Hasn't pre-turned the turrets, though. Just gonna mean it's gonna take a little bit for this is to start firing once he spots one of these, one of any of these in this target-rich environment. And what the fuck is this man doing? This chimp. What is that picture? It's fitting because this is an absolutely apish build. Just a whole lot of sprinters with. Yeah, are, are these all gonna be cannons and defenders? Oh yeah. And that is exactly what these are all going to be. Yeah, cannons and defenders. How many sprinters is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? Ten sprinters. <laughs> and, uh, well, nine sprinters now. This one's getting torn to shreds. 
by the small ships with medium-sized guns. Yeah, I think that Solomon is going to be a huge threat to the Protector team because they've got the firepower and the caliber size to annihilate... Oh, my. H2's coming in. To annihilate smaller vessels and the PD to defend. Look at that. As corkscrew maneuvers are really messing. Are those, those? Is that weave? I think it's weave. They're really messing with those sprinters. They're not able to quite get to these small targets. Unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, I think these. Oh my goodness, the action is non-stop. We've also got a huge wave of rockets coming for that Solomon. He is parked. He's not backing up. No, sir. And a bunch too many rockets going for that sprinter. These are going to hit. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's some bad news for that Solomon. Well, I was going to say that I think this thing has... <laughs> are those all going to miss? Yeah, nice breaking. Okay, so this guy can actually fly his silly fleet. That's good. That was good. That was really good. Maneuvering on that front. Uh, the Solomon should be the most dangerous thing this fleet is worried about, but if it eats another rocket salvo like that, it is not going to be a threat. This small little gun team is going to be able to chew apart every single sprinter they run across, and boy, howdy, there are a lot of them. And I think they would perform pretty well against the Voxels as well. Another huge barrage of rockets heading towards these Voxels. Doesn't look like the point defense is enough, but it also doesn't look like that matters that much. Firing at long range is going to be a miss. Oh, but uh, firing at short range is going to be a pretty strong hit, especially on a target as big as a Solomon. This thing is out of the fight just like that. Its reactors are still around. Its drive is still around. But uh, this ship is dead. Yeah, everything's on fire. Everything's messed up. We have two cook-offs happening. One reactor, one magazine. Uh-oh, and I don't think there are enough DC teams left alive on this ship to handle those. Oh, these ships better get away from that. Or they're going to be roasting or an open fire. The shuttle team up here taking a lot of RPF fire from the Sprinter. Interesting, as well as the Voxels. Absolutely obliterating these shuttles with that RPF. Very strong stuff. Yeah, there goes that Solomon. Oh my. Shuttles roasting or an open fire. Solomon's nipping at your nose. They have more rockets! They're firing at a dead ship. That's not what you want to be spinning those rockets on. They're missing the dead ship. <laughs> Ooh, that's a colossal waste of that. So other fleets getting in there. That was not the Solomon that exploded. What was that? I see. That was this tug that exploded. This Solomon, its engines are online. Well, now they're not. Eating an unbelievable amount of fire, and that fire wasn't really doing that much looks like the crits have been put out so there aren't going to be any critical explosions yet uh still a lot of fires all over the ship there's also a dc locker that is burning down if that disappears let's reinforce though if that disappears they're going to be in big trouble i mean this thing's already in big trouble this poor this poor rains i'm supporting i'm here i'm helping those Sarissas just were not enough for the rockets. All the 250 hits. Not dealing any damage because there's so many empty compartments on this ship. I'm actually going to have to position fire. But there's, I mean, there's no way the other player knows. Some damage is getting through and getting applied to those uh, drives. Raider and a Dragonfly. CIC is also taking a lot of damage. But Citadels, I've said it before, I'll say it again, they're pretty much impossible to kill. You have to drive kill things with have Citadels on them. 
RPF up here has taken out this shell and is taking an unbelievable amount of damage. Look at all those little holes. That's not good. I'll tell you what is good though. These voxels, they are dishing it out. The protectorate has been dishing it out too, but hot damn. They are dishing it out directly into that rock face right now, actually. Very impressive. Very nice. The Shelter Alliance has lost a huge chunk of their firepower with the loss or effective loss of the Solomon. But they are, as previously stated, still dishing it out. The Protectorate fleet is generally beat up, but the Inns fleet and Ghost Ringers fleet is in pretty good condition. And missiles are coming out. Those are AMMs. Those are Type 1s. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. is a good thing too he's gonna need it <laughs> oh my goodness I think one of these is gonna get through yep right into that feeder got any more pebbles damn an R. no chill he's back in the fight he's got his engines online he's flying no hesitation ready to eat up some more rockets for his team I mean, those rockets are rather finite, and if he can eat some more, that means the Sprinter team and the Voxel team has potential to do that much more. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of that's a lot of missiles. It's a lot of different kinds of missiles. I couldn't keep track of all that. I'm glad this guy can. And he's doing work, capturing Bravo. That's going to be the Protectorate's last point. I think they still have the overall damage advantage here. AMMs are not going to cut it against Sprinter's Chief. Although, Chaff will. <laughs> it's a maybe soft kill on this. It can't decide. Yeah, there it goes. Oh, but a couple get through. Taking some pretty heavy damage on that line ship. Dishing it out, too. T-30s are going to be doing... Mondo work against these sprinters. And also doing some work. I don't know how friendly fire works because he's firing into his own uh, thingy here. And I don't know if he takes damage from that. I don't know how that works. If someone knows, please <laughs> mention. Please tell me in the comments. Or if someone has like a link to a dev post on if you can shoot through your own ship. Since the OSP ships are auto-generated and sometimes they'll interrupt their own arcs. No hesitation. The Battleship King is ready to be shot at more. He's got his Citadel CIC, totally fine. His Raider Chives, also totally fine. 3%, 3%, 7%. Oh, yeah. This ship is ready for war. He's... Yeah, I mean, he's eating, he's egging them on to eat more rockets. That's, the funny thing is that he's actually doing a great job of depleting the munitions from the Protectorate team because those rockets aren't doing any damage. With all those empty compartments up at the front, this Solomon isn't going down unless you get behind it or under it to hit that CIC. And threatening to be back in the fight with that much confidence, that much bravado. That's some good psyops right there. He's threatening this t the uh, protector team, and they're dumping rounds into him. More hybrids coming into this team. Looks like they're gonna get red herring down on this dead ship. Oh, colossal waste of munitions. Very unfortunate. <laughs> Daminar is an absolute chad of a man. There's another one of those sprinters getting torn to shreds. Is that grape shot I was seeing going to the ship? I think it was. Head over. It looked like it was splitting up. Oh, that's a fuel line fire. That's bad. 
These ship's toast. I mean, it was already pretty much toast, but now it's really toast. Whoa, what happened to you? Ah, hey, speaking of fuel line fires. <laughs> oh, those are beautiful, but they will kill your ship. Ghostbringer out of the fight early on again. Daminar also out of the fight. Bucko out of the fight. I don't know who that is. It's the rocket guy. He wasted all of his rockets on the Solomon. I mean, he killed the Solomon, which is good. But then he kept dumping rocket salvo after rocket salvo after rocket salvo. And then quit out instead of using his ships to cap. That's, that's not cool. Don't do that, kids. Use your ships even if they're out of munitions. You can still use them to cap points. You can still use them to win the game. Uh... And I think the Protector actually had a pretty good chance of winning the game if they would have used those ships to cap points instead of just giving up now that the munitions were expended. Huge fight over Charlie. But yeah, I think the game's pretty much the uh, Shelter Alliances now. Oh my. Now the drive explosions. Because, uh... Protectorate's down a lot of ships for capping. They've still got a pretty good volume of firepower, I think. Um, but they're not going to match up to these voxels. Pretty unimpressed with the sprinters. I don't know. I am impressed with the capping potential of the sprinters. Because, the, yeah, the irony is if Bucko had done the counter capping instead of just giving up, Mike could have got some work done. But not so much... Lynchard ready to fight another guy. Where is that going? I have no idea. Most of the protector team is up on top of the map. They weren't they just weren't able to have the map presence to keep control of points. I think with the voxels running out of r missile, well, they're not really running out of missiles, are they? I mean, they're definitely low. Not out. Ah, this guy is. I'm thinking they might be able to kill those voxels, but it's too late on the point fronts. So there's, I highly doubt, highly doubt they'll be coming back from this, just due to the point momentum. Even if they can get in and kill the voxels, and then finish off the sprinters. Completely unhinged. Quite a build. Got even more. <laughs> Got even more of these going out. Running out of missiles fast. Dumping, wow, perhaps far too many into a tug. Assuming that's what they're going for. I see, it looks like there are a few different targets he's going for. That tug's gonna be able to clean this up. Yep. Or not! Oh, two, three got through, and that ship is dead. Which means these probably don't have enough munitions either. Yeah, and it's in big trouble. Bit of a waste here after that already dead ship. It happens. I am very much aware of missile waste. <laughs> I have wasted gajillions of dollars of munitions over the years in this game. Just a little bit of a little bit of bully fire on this already dead shuttle. Okay. Let him know he's not welcome here. And the RPF was Doing a lot of work on those shuttle teams. It's a, it's a good round. Looks like the end remains. The end doesn't seem to have been 
flying very much? I didn't see much on the way a mass driver fire go out. More psyops coming out of the uh, Shelter Alliance team. Yeah, I don't, I don't think this guy's here. I'm pretty sure this guy's AFK. That's real shitty of you, man. Because the guns are canted forward. Which means they haven't been turned to fire. And these are at weird angles that aren't really pointing at anything. Like any engagement zones. So I think this guy just... Peaced out. Short game. Real short game. Uh, I'm not going to make you sit through to the end. I don't really have that much of an interest in the AR anyways. So, uh... I'll go ahead and end it here, and maybe I'll upload it, maybe I won't. Obviously, if you're watching this, I have. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, oh, boy. Another explosion. Brilliant is the sun. Uh, I hope you enjoy. <laughs> There's another drive blast. Oh, I couldn't get a... That would have made a great... Whatever, it's fine. Yeah, it was short, it was brutal, it was certainly one-sided, um, but I hope you enjoyed. Bye.